What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Mike's Tool Shed. Actually, back out in the shed this time. Uh, the, the, the weather is broken a little bit, and it's not so cold that the fluorescent lights flicker. So I, they're the old T12s, like the crappiest uh, fluorescence that you could ever have, and they just don't like the cold weather, and they flicker, and they make noise. So I figured I'd come out here and do a shed video, which the shed looks like a complete freaking wreck because I don't clean or maintain anything in the wintertime. I just get in, do what I got to do, and then get it out and leave a mess. Like, the shed is a structure that's planted in my yard, but it looks like somehow it was picked up, flipped over, and then put back <laughs> on the foundation. So you don't even want to see what the rest of this looks like. This is a video that I've wanted to do for probably the past two months, and I'll explain why I couldn't do it or wasn't able to and uh, what it's about. So this story is about my little, my little story about meeting Bobby Salvadros, Bobby the Boss. And if you um, don't know who he is, I'll put a link to his channel in the description. He's a great guy by all accounts. I don't think anyone has a bad thing to say about the man. But um, I needed a favor for him. Uh, a couple months ago and if you may remember I went on a road trip with my wife and uh, I bought contact contact lenses before we left and uh, I'm not a glasses guy I destroy glasses like really fast and they're expensive so I just gave up on glasses forever ordered a new set of contacts and they didn't arrive in time and I ordered them in plenty of time for them to get here but they, they have shipping totally screwed up and I never got them so I'm trying to think who on my route could I hit up to maybe send like overnight a package to them and then pick them up on the way. And I, would, I wanted it to be somebody early in on the trip. And Bobby kind of geographically fit like right where I was going by. And it was earlier in the trip because we drove from Maryland to Savannah, Georgia, and then on to Austin, Texas. And we went right by Bobby country. So... <laughs> I hit him up, and I was like, hey, man, um, I don't mean to put you on any kind of position, but would you mind if I had something shipped to your house, could you meet up with me on this road trip, and I could get it from you, and, you know, I'll get you a six-pack or whatever? And he's like, yeah, no problem at all, man. Like, totally cool. Like, more than happy to do it for me. So we go through Georgia and uh, come out and go to Louisiana, and uh, he says, all right, meet me at the uh, Tiger Truck Stop. I was like, okay, cool. Tiger, Tiger Mart. We have Tiger Marts around here. The uh, Exxon stations. No, it's not a Tiger Mart. <laughs> this is a little different. This is a down south truck stop. Not like anything I've ever seen before. If I've been like a tourist in the south, I've been to like touristy cities and I didn't really get off the beaten path too much. But this is like the south and uh, not like any truck stop I've seen before. So we pull in. It's all dirt parking lot. There's this big giant cage out front. I didn't know what that was about, and um, there's like four wheelers coming in and out, and r razors, the Polaris razors, and you know, just dude, everybody knows everybody at this truck stop. Everybody's talking and bullshitting, and uh, like 15 minutes after we get there, Bobby and the whole family shows up. Kelsey, all the kids, all in the big truck, and uh, before he got there, I got him a six pack. So I'm like, here you go, man. I really appreciate this, and he's like, oh no, no problem. Here, you want one? And I was like, right, right here in the parking lot. <laughs> he's like, hell yeah. I'm like, all right, so we're drinking a beer in the parking lot. Like, that doesn't, that's, that's not uh, something people up north do. You, oh, gosh, we got open containers. Like, if the cops drove by, we'd get tickets, you know. No, it was, it was like, no, no big thing. Everybody's, uh, you know, like I said, everybody's bullshitting with everybody there. And me and him are just drinking a beer, bullshitting about our trip and everything. And he gives me the box. And then he gives me this stuff, too, which is a, like, I'm going to call this like a vintage Klein ruler. I don't know that they sell this anymore. Oh, made in China. But this is an old Klein ruler. I haven't seen one like this in a really long time. I, th I think maybe like 10 or 15 years. Um, they may still sell it, but I just haven't seen them. Good, good level. And actually, I'm not going to use this at work. Um, it's just too nice. I'm going to leave this. This will be for leveling up things around the house. Um... He gave me this PCB ruler. I have no idea what's going on with this thing. It's got tons of conversions, calculations, measurements. Uh, just, you couldn't fit another ounce of information on this thing. I'm not really sure what its deal is. But, uh, yeah, it's. I still think it's awesome. It's really cool. It's a red PCB. It's a ruler. Um, it's got all kinds of reference measurements on it. I'm going to actually have to look this up later. There may actually be like a little, like the AVE ruler. There may be actually a, a project um, actually, I don't see any traces underneath of the paint, 
So this might just be like a promotional reference like to all of the things that uh, DigiKey can do. And he gave me this Streamlight headlamp, which um, I, like, I just got this stuff back. I ended up leaving this stuff in California, and I just got it back. That's why I haven't made this video. And uh, this thing's bright as hell, so... He, and Bobby made the comment, he's like, here, man, I know you're an electrician, you, you could use this more than me. And I should have corrected him and be like, everybody can use headlamps. Like, even if you got ample lighting, you can still throw on a headlamp and, and get, get even more light. But uh, this thing's bright as hell, LED. And uh, I just want to say I appreciate that, Bobby. That was awesome. He gave me, like, a little care package. He was doing me a favor, and I gave him a, he gave me a little care package on top of it. Um, he also included... Doo -doo -doo. One of his magnets, the cartoon green truck, the Bobby the Boss magnet. Yeah. Uh, hey, hey, uh, Justin. You notice how? Notice the size of everybody else's sticker. Maybe you, uh, you know, you kind of, kind of dominate my toolbox here. But look, I'm gonna slowly start covering you up because you're not, you're not even that, you're not even that. That's not the name of your channel anymore. So, I got TJ here, H and H Country. He sent me that a while ago, and I never, um, I never said thanks for that. I mean, I did, but not in the video. Um, AVE, this is a Mighty Car Mod sticker, Joel, a snap-on tool review, that freaking, the, whatever the kind of horseback postal service they've got up in Canada, these things took forever to get to me, but he felt bad, and I guess the first one got lost, and he ended up sending me like one of every kind that he had, so thank you, Joel, but um, yeah, Bobby is good people, without a doubt, and I appreciate it. So the funny little thing that happened is my, you know, my wife is like the biggest animal lover, like most, a lot of women are, but, so, uh, Bobby's like, we're standing there drinking a beer in the parking lot, and Bobby's like, hey, you want to see the tiger? And I'm thinking like, what, like, stuffed tiger, or, uh, like a, a fiberglass tiger, like, he's like, oh, this is a, there's a, there's a live tiger over there. Kelsey from like, the over by the truck, she's like, no, nah, it's dead, I saw it on Facebook, <laughs> And he's like, no, it's not. And they kind of, like, argue a little bit. And she's like, I'm right. I'm right. You're going to tell me I'm right when you walk over there. And uh, one, I guess their son was like, yeah, it's dead. <laughs> the tiger died. And then my wife was, like, all excited for a second and then got kind of sad. So we all walked over to the tiger cage. That was the big cage in the front. This tiger truck stop had a live tiger at it at one point. And uh, it was just a thick chain link fence with like a chain link roof on it. Like any child could have stuck their arm right in this cage. There was no separation between you and the tiger other than the fence. And sure enough, there was a little memorial there for Tony. I think his name was Tony the Tiger. And uh, Tony Tony was no more. That would have been cool as shit if there was a live tiger at this truck stop. Again, not like any kind of truck stop we see up north. Uh, you don't see uh, exotic wild animals at uh, truck stops here in, uh, here in Maryland. <laughs> So, yeah, there was no tire. Bobby hooked me up with some cool stuff, got me my contacts, gave me the magnet, and um, that's all. That's I mean, You may not have thought that was interesting at all, but I thought it was kind of funny that this truck stop had a live tiger at it. We're just chilling there, drinking a beer, bullshitting. It was a good time, and Bobby, I really appreciate it. I got my contacts. I, I saw all the cool rock formations out west, no problem, and uh, it totally would have, it really would have screwed up my trip because I just... Um, tore one of my last pairs that I had. It was just real bad timing, and I didn't have any more, so... Um, that's my Bobby the Ball story. And again, thank you again, Bobby. Um, something else I wanted to get into real quick at the end of this video is MTS Productions is about to have um, a little bit more legitimate production value. I got a new camera. Um, you may or may not know, the entire channel has been filmed on this thing. This gold, ugly as hell... Uh, Galaxy S7 Active. Now, it's, I'm actually filming on a newer S7 right now, but this thing, uh, these Active phones are tanks. Like, I break everything, and I've had this phone for a year and a half. The only thing that's starting to go on is the battery. So, I got a new S7, and um, I'm just filming this one on the cell phone to show off the new camera. This is the Canon G7X um, I did a lot, a lot of research before picking this camera, and I came to the conclusion that smaller is better for me, um, something more compact, something more convenient. Uh, it's not as featured as a DSLR, but it's also not as complicated. Um, this thing kicks ass on auto setting. You really, that's what I wanted. I want something that just kicked ass. <laughs> 
on auto and not have to play with any of the settings. And then as I get to playing with it more, you know, play with the settings. So um, I knew having something with the lens wasn't really going to be. And this, you can get this um, depth of field. This has a smaller aperture or a smaller number aperture, larger aperture. So you can get the depth of field out of this like a bigger camera where you get the blurry, you know, the blurry shit in the background. So um, easy, throw it in your pocket. Um, I got this little little tripod thing with it. It seems to be pretty well made. Um, and this is known, this is known in, on YouTube as like the, one of the go-to vlogging cameras. It's like this and the, uh, Sony RX100. RX100 was like 400 bucks more than this. And I didn't really see that much of a difference. Um, image stabilization on this thing's awesome. And it does that, which I'm not going to use. It's like, hey, hey, look on the mic's tool shed. I'm going to selfie vlog like Casey Neistat. That's probably never going to happen. But, <laughs> um... It's other than that, I don't really need that, but taking it on vacations and stuff, what, uh, selfies with the wife and, you know, stuff, it, it'll be cool. So, uh, this coupled with the computer, the uh, production value is about to go up uh, quite a bit. Hopefully, hopefully it doesn't go down. But I'm not going to stop doing like the completely continuous shot videos. I think I've kind of gotten used to that, and starting and stopping is going to be kind of weird for me. So, um, but for projects, that's what this is going to be great for, for kind of doing projects where you don't want to watch a four-hour long video unedited raw of me just building something or fixing something. So it's not going to change too much, but I do have more options now with this with this cool little camera. So that's it. Um, I'm going to be doing more videos, um, a lot more videos. I've been kind of busy and kind of haven't been really doing too much stuff with tools in my personal life. And um, I didn't want to just kind of throw videos together just to upload something. So um, the video frequency is going to go back up kind of to where it used to be, at least two to three videos a week instead of this one a week for like the past month. So that's it. Uh, that's a little update, update from the shed, you know. So uh, I think that covers everything. So thanks for watching.